Hello YouTube, Dr. Carlo Oger here, board certified emergency physician with ED Exit Video Pro. If you give me five minutes, you will learn something new with every video, so make sure you subscribe. In this video, we're going to discuss an article from the JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, published in 2016, having to deal with hydrocortisone and septic shock. Does hydrocortisone, given in the IV form, help prevent progression to septic shock? Well, the current guidelines are, if that a patient is in septic shock and using vasopressors, hydrocortisone given in the IV form is beneficial to patients. So, to answer the questions, can hydrocortisone prevent the progression to septic shock? A randomized, double-blind control study was done in Germany with almost 400 patients, given hydrocortisone IV for five days and a tapering dose over the next 11 days. This was called the high press study, high for hydrocortisone prevention, PRE, of septic shock. And the bottom line, the answer is, it did not show any benefit. It did not show any difference in the prevention to the development of septic shock. However, most critics of this research article say that the power of the study was too low. That means if they were to do a study in 4,000 patients instead of 400, there might be a difference. But the bottom line, the conclusion of the study is this. We already know that in septic shock, patients already on vasopressors for the treatment of septic shock, hydrocortisone IV is a current guideline of treatment. The question is whether or not there's a benefit into the prevention of development of the septic shock. Well, they failed to show any benefit. However, they failed to show any disbenefit or any complications from it. So what they suggest is if the patient is in sepsis and you're already starting to think about starting vasopressor, that means in the early development of septic shock, you might as well start the hydrocortisone because there is no evidence against it, although the evidence for it is not that good anyway. So that's it. Conclusion, there is no data showing benefit, but it doesn't hurt if you're thinking about vasopressors or if you're already on septic shock, go ahead and give that IV hydrocortisone to those patients. I hope you learned in this video. Subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you in my next video.